Hello people, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a wicked and awesome video. Um, today I have just unboxed my brand new Divine Belly Out and we are going to be putting it up against every single Dynamite Battle Beyblade in my collection. That also includes random booster recolors. Um, it's obviously the new Beyblade which is called the Divine Layer. It really looks really cool, it's got an awesome shape um, to me. I mean with the new gears coming out this is going to be epic. I'll also do a battle um, with using the current gears we have on Dangerous Belly Owl and I'll obviously put this up against Perfect um, Dangerous Belly Owl as well. Um, obviously Adventure is obviously on the new feature parts of this um, Beyblade, the, uh, the, the tip. Um, it's like a claw, the way I've seen it work is literally like a claw, it will stick itself down to the stadium and move around. It has very aggressive movement but also curves calm down quite well. Um, it's not too hard to control which is nice because normally, I mean with the past, I mean, with uh, Ultimate Valkyrie, it was impossible to control. It still is now once it's fully awakened. So it's nice like this one, you've got a bit of control around it. Um, but yeah, um, we're going to be putting it up against literally one of every Don Battle Beyblade. And let's get straight on with the battle. Let's begin. Let's begin round one. We're going to be doing Vanish Fafnir first. And then we'll um, do two rounds. I think we'll do two rounds of each Beyblade to give it a fair gist of the performance of the new, new Duda Belly Owl. And yeah, we'll um, just, I won't say much on what Beyblade I'm going to use next. We'll just keep going until we've used all the ones in my collection. So let's begin. New belly out getting some really nice hits on there. I think Vanish is just going to take this one. Yep, Vanish takes first round. Let's begin the right second round. Massive hits, but obviously Fafnir proving how really good it is at absorbing hits. Especially this one. Mirage Fafnir is one of the coolest ones I've done. Alright, Mirage Fafnir proving to be the stronger of the two Beyblades. Not surprising as Mirage is so damn good. Alright, let's begin with the next Beyblade from the greatest Raphael. Let's begin. First round, let's begin the second, second round. And Greatest Raphael takes the second round. Um, again, this one's not really a surprising one as Raphael is probably one of the strongest dynamite battle players we have seen. Um, but yeah, really, I'll definitely prove it hits hard, but loses stamina quickly. Let's begin with the next bay. Next bay blade is Prominent Phoenix. Obviously, we all know about this one. Um, it's got the Atomic Driver, Atomic Dash, and obviously, I'm using a mismatched parts, using some from Prominent Valkyrie to make it look like Perfect Phoenix. Right, let's begin the two rounds. <laughs> Phoenix taking the first one, just get straight on with the second one. And Phoenix also beats uh, Divine Belly Owl. This Belly Owl proving to have really good attack power, but just not very good stamina at all. Right, let's get straight on with the next Beyblade. Is Ragnarok? Hopefully, it can beat this one. But this is the king of the stamina type, so I don't think it's going to. Right, let's begin. How Ragnarok did not burst, then I don't know. So Ragnarok does take that round. Let's get straight on with the second one. This belly out is looking good, guys, but I think until it has all the gear, I don't think it's going to be viable. 
against literally anything. Let's begin round two. Technically, Belly Al did win that one um, by knockout, but yeah, let's get around with the next wave blade. Uh, Wizard Bahamut. Oh no, not Wizard Bahamut, guys, Raw Bahamut. Sorry, I'm getting off my right. Raw Bahamut's next. Hopefully, this one won't be. Belly Al took that one, it literally just flew you straight back in, so it takes that one, I'm going to give it back. In the second round of this match. Sorry about the Valkyrie round guys, I'm not trying to mess around with that thing and try and get it to control itself. It's a nightmare. Right, second round. Insane hit, insane. And Robert Hammer did take that round, so it wasn't it's equal on that part for those two rounds. Right, let's get on with the next day, Blades of Ultimate Valkyrie. Um, this thing is gonna be a nightmare to control in the stadium, so I apologise how badly battles this bit. Right, again. And it doesn't matter if Ultimate loses control, it still just wipe the floor and belly out. Right, let's get in the second round. <laughs> And that was me super soft launching that balcony then, like that was me barely pulling the string. That's how crazy Varian was actually. Alright, let's begin the second round. And Ultimate does take it. Not surprising, as Ultimate is an absolute behemoth. Alright, let's get on with the next Beyblade. Beyblade on the list is going to be Spriggan in left spin. I will do right later on. I'm just going to keep it in this tip for the battle today, guys, because I'm not doing every single tip, and this is probably its best form anyway. Right, let's begin. Ooh, belly Owl getting a cheeky little win there. Let's get straight on round two. That was nice to see. The new Belly Owl actually winning a round, rather than just getting his ass kicked. Right, let's get straight on with the second round. Friggin' literally did not let it escape then, it just came back for more and more. And Spriggan taking that round, so nice little tie on who won each one at that time. Let's get straight on with the next Beyblade. Beyblade is going to be Dragon V2, obviously this is a remake, really cool remake in my opinion. It's not to be its debut on the channel, I haven't actually done a remake by the video of this one yet. That's good. Um, as it is a remake, I'm going to launch Belly Owl first, because this one doesn't weigh anywhere near as much. Right, let's begin. No, there you go. Belly I'll take that round. Let's get straight on with the second. Oh, that really upset me to see a Dragon V2 explode, but there we go. Let's get straight on with the second one. Right. Hopefully Dragon puts up a better fight this round. That's been second one. Yeah, no, no, I'll take that one by bursting Dragoon. Obviously, expected as this is a very lightweight Beyblade and it has an awful team. Alright, let's get straight to the next Beyblade. Beyblade's drums will be two. I'm locally hoping this one actually does beat Belial. Let's begin round one. Oh, 
So far I've already said that John's now going to attack mode. It's going to be interesting to see who wins this one. Come, I want John just to win, but I'm not sure. Okay. Oh my god, John's had literally just done that. That's, it for, that's just jokes. Right, let's begin the second round. Oh dear. This belly hour is proving to be a massive disappointment for everyone. I still recommend buying it, it's cool, but yeah. Alright, let's begin the second round. Drones are putting up a damn good fight, this is good. And I think Drones is going to take this round as well. Let's have a look. See if Drones will win, is it? Ah, nah, Buddy, I'll take that one. It's pretty close, but Buddy, I'll take that one. Right, let's get straight on the second. The, well, the next Beyblade on the list. Next Beyblade is Prominent Valkyrie. Uh, obviously colours are different. If the lighting has changed and you've noticed it, uh, very good observation firstly. And secondly, I forgot to do this one when I made the bulk of this video. So I'm adding it in now. Right, in the first round. Valkyrie takes first round. I need to just grab that armor wherever the hell it went. Uh, I'm not actually sure where that flew off to, that's brilliant. Um, we'll just quickly nick the armor off of um, the next. Alright. Alright, in second round. That was literally like a um, Prominence Crush special move. Yep, uh, Prominence Valkyrie takes that round. Let's get straight on the next one. Blade is um, Savior Perseus. Obviously, bearing dash. Pretty good Beyblade, Blade, but does burst easily. So I think we might see some bursts in this one. Right, let's get straight on the bit. We'll launch Perseus first this time. To give uh, mainly because it's got bearing. It's a stamina type, so it should be launched first anyway. Right, let's begin. Little belly outburst this one, who knows? I don't think it's gonna. No way. Wow. Xavier Purse is hung on there and literally just took that round. That's incredible. This belly I was just no. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say garbage yet, because we haven't done it all. Straight on with the second one. Let's begin. Okay. Okay, right. So Perseus, um, the only burst because I touched it by the way, but that was a stadium out from a Perseus. Yep, you heard that. And he went over the stadium out. Right, let's get straight on with the next Beyblade. <laughs> Beyblade on the list. If we can't beat this, then we are in trouble. This is the Kerbex um, remake, obviously in real life in MFB. This is a, an insanely rare recolor. If you own it, you're a very lucky person. I don't collect MFB, but I can appreciate the colour scheme of that. It's uh, incredible. Alright, let's begin this one. If uh, Belly Al can't win this, then we've got problems, guys. <laughs> Again, it only bursts because I have picked it up. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to say this. Hades Kerbex takes round one. Oh dear. What have they done to Belly Al? Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. I'm really disappointed by this release so far. <laughs> right, let's begin the second round. We're going to launch Hades. We're going to launch Kerbex first to give um, Belly Al a bit of a chance. There we went. Apparently, Charlie can't launch this. Let's begin. Oh my lord. 
Okay, Hades Codex just took both rounds, um, and it only got halfway to bursting. Oh god, let's get on with the next Beyblade and get this done with. Beyblade is a Ragnarok recolor. I'm going to put this one high mode just to see if there's any difference. Um, right, let's begin this one. I'm really gutted for this belly hour release, guys. I think you guys are going to be as well. Right, let's begin. <laughs> Yep, that's not effect first round. That was just repelling it. Let's uh, do the second round. Oh, Kara Tony, why are you doing belly all day like this? Why? Alright, second round. <laughs> Me. We'll give it to belly out. It was technically a knockout. Right, let's get straight on with the next Beyblade, Savior Valkyrie. Um, I don't think it's going to beat this, personally. Um, if it does, I'll be happy. If it doesn't, well, I'm not surprised. It's just lost against bloody Hades Kerbo, so... Yeah, this is not good. Really not good. All right, let's begin the first round. I want to put, I want to put um, I said Pegasus then. I want to put Valkyrie first. Technically, I'm going to give that to Valkyrie because it's fine. Um, yeah, let's get straight over the second round. That was an insane burst, guys. I'm glad we got a nice one on camera. Um, yeah, this this belly owl, I'm, I'm really on the fence about whether it's good or not. I, I mean, you can't really say it's good because it's lost every single round, even when being on second. So, not a good sign. Let's begin the second round. No, it won't be in the second round because I can completely dislodge that. Right, let's try it again. Get on the front. Yay, belly out one around. Nice big burst. Sweet. Let's get on with the next baby. Um, Guilty Longness, obviously mine's got a sexy camera weight disc on it because it just looks epic. Um, I'm not holding out any hope at all for Belly Out to win this because Guilty's a nasty monster. Begin round one. Yeah, Gilson takes round one, as expected. Um, he did hold on quite well there, um, trying to spin still, but obviously guilty. Yeah, man. Alright, let's get a second round done. I'll launch Guilty the first this time. Okay, let's try that again. That's a misfire round. I would edit all these out, guys, but I'm just too lazy. Let's get a second round done. Oh, that's cool. If you guys saw that, like Belly Owl literally rid that curb edge, that was cool. Um, again, I don't think it's going to win this round. So Guilty obviously takes that round, not surprising. That's all, let's get on with the next Beyblade on the list. Um, obviously this one's got um, Revolve for its tip, and I've got a weight this. Yeah, let's see if it can win against this game. I'm not hopeful because I just don't think it will. Yeah, right, thanks for getting the right one. I mean, if it's going to self pay itself like that, it's never going to win, is it? Let's right, begin the second round. We'll do a more de delicate launch. Second round. Really good hit though. But yeah, raw Fafnir is just eating that. And it's still eating it. Okay. I don't think this is going to end very well for it. Um, no, no, it's not in the world. Unless it's going to spin still, who knows? No, not quite. 
All right, Royal Fafnir wins that one. Obviously, again, not surprising, guys. We knew it's probably going to happen. Let's get on with it. Nick Dragon, Nick Beyblade is Tempest Dragon. Um, yeah, really cool one. Um, one of my favourites, actually, from Sparking. Uh, obviously, this has got the new high charge dash driver, which is pretty good. Spin round one. <laughs> I'll take the top round. Yeah, I have a couple of knots on it, so I've got to give it to it. Straight on with round two. Which... Two minutes, I'm not sure I'm going to win this. Oh wow, he even won it on low on stamina. Alright, Tempest Dragon wins that one. Let's get straight on with the next Beyblade. We're looking at Achilles in shield mode. We'll do one round in shield mode and one round in sword. Um, yeah, yeah probably want Achilles first for the first one. And then let's see what Divine Belly Art can do. Good hit. Uh, Achilles obviously just showing how it's one of the coolest bays in Beyblade. And it takes that round to switch up the uh, gear quickly. I mean, I am just into this belly out of this. I genuinely thought this was going to hold some hope. I mean, if the rest of DB2 is like this, I just, I'm not even going to bother with it. I really am. Hopefully, the new Kerberos Beyblade is going to be good. Oh, it's been the second round. Obviously, Achilles has now got a sword on. Fingers crossed, it will hopefully Belly Alp can get a win. Okay, maybe not. Let's try that again. Let's try it again. Uh, I think Achilles has got this one as well. Maybe he's got that dummy. Oh, no, maybe not. This is going to be a very close one. Oh, no, of course it is. No, Achilles um, wins that one. So Achilles takes both rounds, being overpowered as it is. All right, let's begin the next place with Valkyrie again. Obviously, this is the white rubber mold. Uh, fun fact, this is actually slightly um, softer rubber. Um, my driver is not awakened, so this will be a lot easier to control this one. Um, yeah, let's get straight on with it. Let's begin. Oh, that rubber really just took a lot out of that air. Yep, Falcon takes first one. Let's begin the second round. Yeah, uh, you know, when I saw this, this initial Wow, another curve bridge there. Where's the curve? Oh cool. Let's see who's gonna take this round. Um, Belly Owl, I think, got that by half a spin, so there you go. Not too bad. Against an unawakened Valkyrie, it will win. Right, let's go on to the next Beyblade. Beyblade, I'm going to kill two birds with one stone. It's the recolors of Helios and Hyperion, obviously the first versions, but obviously they've got the metal chip from the second versions. Um, obviously, you've got your favorite drivers. Yep, let's get straight on there. going to do one round for each, just make it nice and quick and easy. And we'll do Helios first, and then we'll do um, Hyperion afterwards. Helios first. I launch it first with the stamina. Maybe Belly Oak can win against this one. I just want to stop now. If you're getting depressing, I'll just bought this, you know? <laughs> Freezes. 
All right, let's begin the second round. Wow, even Hyperion with the metal on the driver, first version of Hyperion. Without, bear in mind, this is not a dual chassis, this is obviously with the, um, I don't know, I can't remember what that one's called, it's a slightly heavy one on one side. Yep, that, that takes that one. Let's go on the next Beyblade, which is going to be Dangerous Belly Out. Beyblade is Dangerous Belly Out, I'm not even going to say who's going to win this, because there's no point. There's no point. I'm actually really, really good at this release, guys. <laughs> I mean, I genuinely thought it would be quite a uh, close battle with all of them. I mean, to Karatomi's videos, I swear they ring them, honestly. Alright, let's begin first round. Mm, it might be quite close, actually. Danger still takes it. There we go. Let's begin the second round. Hopefully, with all the gears on this thing, it'll be able to win a round. So we'll give it. I'll do that one next. We'll do all the gears. Divine Belly R versus a bare naked um, uh, Dangerous Belly R. Right. Let's begin the second round. <laughs> There we go, stadium out from Divine Video, it did well. All right, let's get in at the next one. Next one's gonna be all the gears, um, Divine Valley out versus a non-geared um, Dangerous Valley. All right, next Beyblades, we have fully upgraded um, all gears, Divine Valley out versus a standard stock Dangerous Valley out. Um, two rounds again, hopefully uh, Divine can beat its counterpart um, whilst it's not upgraded. Let's begin the first round. Crazy movement there from uh, Dangerous. Oh, hey, there we go. Still a great divine takes first round. Not to be, shouldn't be surprising because it weighs an absolute ton. And with the upgrade, it should be able to beat the in second round. And a burst on its old, on, on its uh, previous self. Awesome to see that was. Maybe Divine will be something special with all the gears. Yeah, right, let's get straight on the next round. I'll switch Divine back to its stock combo and we'll do the last couple of Beyblades I have in my collection. Right, so let's get on with it. Next Beyblade, we've got Right Spin Spriggan. Um, same performance tip as last time. We're gonna use it in um, Left Spin. Against Divine Belly Out. First round. Pretty insane hit there. Don't think Belly Art's gonna win this. I'll be very surprised if it does. Nope, Spriggan takes that round. It's gonna be straight for the second round. I find it confusing once Karatomi confused the colours of Spriggan every time they do left and right spin. Well, Spriggan with the right and the black was left spin. So the Requiem left was white. White was left spin. Requiem was left spin. Requiem was left spin. I think even with a delayed launch, I don't think Belly going to win. Spriggan is just too strong. Astral is an absolute monster. Right, let's get on with the next, the, the final two Beyblades. Final yeah. two Beyblades to wrap this up, we have the Devil Blade Belly Alva and the normal Belly Alva going up against um, uh, the 
the new Divine WL. I'm going to do two rounds for each for the final bit. I'm not going to do any more um, Dynamite era Beyblades in my collection. I've got more recolors of the different Cyclone Cyclo Ragnarok um, recolors. There's also um, another Belly Owl recolor, but I'm not going to bother with this. Um, we'll do normal Belly Owl first against um, Divine. This will be a really interesting card, see if the original can beat you. Right, let's begin the first round. Original um, Devil Belly Owl, just there. Uh, just one first round, guys. Oh, God. I really did fear this was going to happen. Alright, let's begin the second round. Original belly owl uh, wins that one. Uh, we'll do devil, be devil, the devil blade belly owl now. The difference to the devil blade guys is that it's completely rubberized on the outside coating, making it even stronger. Right, in the first round of this battle. <laughs> Expected Devil Blade Belly Owl wins. Not surprising as this uh, this part from Coral Power is really good and it's stronger than anything. Right, we're getting the final round of this marathon, guys. It's been intense and emotional. On good way, then. Right, let's go. Final round, guys. Make your predictions in the comments. is going to conclude this battle um, all I'm going to say is is um, don't uh, I'm not going to say don't buy Divine Belly Owl but I'm going to say don't prepare for it to be absolutely brilliant because in retrospect and everything else it is absolute garbage yep I said it I said it at the end it's garbage that, was, that just took forever that's my first marathon I've ever done on the channel I thought I'd do it for a new release and I'm gutted by the outcome it even got its ass beat by this. I mean, you're telling me it's going to get beat by the Bronzer V2 remake, and then, just to top it all off, it's going to get beat by this. This, the worst bursting lock I think I've ever felt on a Beyblade since, since, since God, the God Evolution series. <sighs> but it's Kara told me did it dirty, guys. They did it real dirty. If this thing doesn't get better with upgrades, then, well, it's just it's pointless even bothering. Me. But yeah, um, Kind of a good video, well, it was a good video, I think, but also disappointing because we've watched how bad the new Divine Valley Owl is. Right, um, I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Next video is going to be a plastic gen battle because this has put me right off burst all over again. Um, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.